Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to today's discussion. In, in our previous two discussions, we looked at the effect of change in price on the commodity, but uh, the first case was when the commodity is a normal good. And the second case is when the commodity was inferior good, but in that case, it was given. Right? And the third case that we are going to look at is it is inferior good. And but I'll start off by drawing my diagram. This is my budget constraint. Let's see. Um, this is my optima. This is my indifference curve zero. So this is my optima x1 and x2. And then x1 here. Great. Now let's say there's a fall in price of so this part is x1 great. And and this side is x2. So let's say there's a fall in price of commodity x1. Now if the fall is there's a fall in price of the commodity l one the value constraints pains or rotates. So you're going to have something like this. Yes. Now let's say as a result of that, the optimal, the indif now you move to this point. So I will call this one IC KF1. Let's say we are here. Now, so what we are saying is that because there is a fall in price, our real income has sort of increased and we, we are likely to buy more of what X1 is because real income increases. So the idea is, the idea in this case is just to compensate the person by deducting part of the a person's income, right? So we deduct the person's income until it gets to the point where um, the, the utility that the person would drive will be the same as prior or before prior to or before the change in the, in the price, right? So that means the indifference curve, which is the new one here, which is this one, is going to shift inwards or left or right until it gets to this point. So it will shift here, here, right, right. So it's going to shift like this, and it's far right. So in this case, now this is initial point, which is A. And as a result, as a result of the foreign price, we move to point B, right? Now, um, because we are compensating by deducting part of the person's income, this new indifference curve, sorry, this new buyer constraint, which is prior to um, this buyer constraint, which is uh, prior to this buyer constraint, is cutting or the indifference curve zero at two points. That's point A and point B. Let's see this point, right? So we are here. Great. Great. So this is, let me call this one X1 new, right? So that means, look at something. So this one X1 here also moves like this. Great. So what it means is that um, from here, from this point, point A to, let me call this part C. So point A to C is for the substitution effect, right? So A to C is equals to the substitution effect. And between um, B and C, which is here, B and C here, is what we call the income effect between the B and C. It's what we call the income effect, right? So in this case, unlike the previous one that we did, in this case, um, the substitution effect what outweighs the income what effect, right? So that means the net effect is going to be positive. It's okay. The net effect is going to be positive. So what it means is that because there's a fall in price of commodity one, the substitution effects uh, led to the situation why people increase their consumption of X1 from here up to this point, right? So let me use the framework. Increase the person, people increase their consumption from this point up to this point, right? As a result, there's a substitution effect. Now, because the commodity is a normal good, right? The income effect also caused it was reduced. So it reduced from instead of here, it reduced from to up to this point, right? So that means the net effect represent this here. Then this is the net effect, right? Represent this section here. That is the net effect. So because the substitution effect is positive, because there's a fall in price, that means people now due to the substitution effect, people are now going to consume more of what? What as a result of the substitution effect. And, but, and the income effect, because the commodities they give inferior good, the income effect will also cause people to reduce their consumption, right? But because the substitution effect outweighs the income effects, all it means is that the substitution effect, um, it, the, the net effect becomes positive. 
is okay. So this is the case of what an inferior good which is not given. So what it means is that um, so in the case of the normal good, let's say in the case of the normal. So let's try and then do this. I'll call this one substitution effect, the income effect, and then the net effect, right? So in the case of, so let's start with, uh, let me clear this part. So let's start with the case of the normal good. So because the normal good, the substitution effect is what positive and the income effect is what positive. So that means the substitution effect is causing people to increase their consumption of S1 and then income effect is also causing people to increase. So this one reinforces the other, right? Giving you a large impact, a large change, a large change, right? A large, so let's say a large positive change. Great. Now in the case of um, inferior, but in the case of giving goods, right? So the giving goods, if there's a fall in price, so there's a fall in price, the substitution effect is going to be what positive of course people to consume more, right? Now, because um, it is what, uh, because it's a giving good, right? The income effect is going to be what negative, right? But in the case of a giving good, the income effect outweighs the substitution effect. That is, the income effect here, which is negative, is greater than what um, the substitution effect. That means the net effect is going to be what negative. Is okay. And then the case of non-giving goods, in the case of non-giving goods, the substitution effect is what positive because there's a foreign price. The income effect is also negative because it's what an inferior good. But in this case, the substitution effect also outweighs what the income effect. So it means the net impact is what positive. Is okay. So this brings us to the end of um, using the indifference curve to analyze the effect of changing price on a certain commodity. Thank you.